Hey gentlemen, this is a follow-up to my previous video where I'll now be ranking every single division I joined in the US military in 1940s. I wanted to make this video separate because I didn't want to have to confine it down to YouTube standards. Is this what you sick people wanted? Alright, enjoy. Let's set a few things straight. S is obviously the best tier. These are like the absolute best we have. I mean, we're talking creme de la crop. And on the other side of the rainbow is F, and that's gonna be just divisions which I think are absolute dog. <coughs> first we have 1st Cavalry Division. I think I'm gonna put that at a solid s- It's not like a division that was bad or anything. It didn't have anything that particularly made it stand out. It's just kind of a good middle. It'll help me figure out everything else, basically. The next unit's gonna be the second armor division. I'm gonna probably put that at a B. It was good. Like, I like this division. Again, it's the same problem as First Cavalry. It didn't have anything too much that made it stand out. But what I really do like about this division is you can get in the tanks and just go absolutely ham on the parade square, start blowing honor guard, marines, navy, whatever, just blowing them up. And that's, that's gonna bump them up a tier, obviously. I'm gonna put the army air forces at an A because they had really cool uniforms forms, which is always a plus. The people there were really chillax. They had planes, which I think is kind of sick, and they've got like a wide variety of them. It wasn't just one plane. Like, you really had your options when it came to Army Air Force. Plus, you could fly the planes into the HQ and just like, go ham. I think this tier list is becoming more of a uh, which unit can cause the most destruction kind of thing. The instructor who was teaching me, he was really chillax, and he uh, he played Zeppelin Wars with me because I was like, hey, you want to fight real planes? You want to use real planes? Then we use Zeppelin Wars, and that was just so funny. I was like, dude, this guy's awesome. So there's that, there's that. The next unit we have is the 12th Naval District, and honestly, this unit was pretty fun. Of course, I have some bias because a long time ago, I used to be in the Navy, and it was kind of like my trademark. Like, if you thought of the Lyodite channel, you'd be thinking of the USM Navy because I was in it so much. Especially the 3rd Fleet, that was like my thing back then. I think I was in the 2nd Carrier Strike Group. It was just genuinely so crazy. I loved the Navy at the time, and it was so much fun. Of course, it's not like that nowadays. It's a little bit different, but it still was super fun. Honestly, I'm gonna put that at an A, and that's partly biased, but it's also the fact that they had really good attack in the sense that you'd have different navy units literally shooting each other on ships. Like, that's funny. But again, that's a little bit of personal bias, to be fair. Now, we have the 3rd Marine Division. I'm gonna safely put this at a B because they didn't really stand out to me so much as a unit that, like, you know, they didn't have, like, a huge amount of tech, which is not exactly their field, so that's fair enough. The reason I'm giving them a B instead of a C is because they had this really good sense of community where they really bonded and they really got along pretty well. And I think that kind of made the unit for me because I was like, these guys are hilarious. These guys are super funny. I mean, there was that dude speaking fucking... Arabic or whatever, and I was like, it's scary. <laughs> so I think 3rd Marine Division gets a uh, B for that. All right, so the next unit for me is gonna be the military police. And the thing with these guys is they had literally the opposite ends of the spectrum. On one end, you had the people who were just absolute goody two-shoes. They followed every single rule. They dotted every I, they crossed every T. And it was kind of funny because it's good. You know, they're really immersed in the LARP, if you will. <laughs> and um, it kind of made them stuck up. It kind of made them not that funny and not fun. But they also had the other people, like that one guy, Sad Forever, he, he put me in the MP cellar. It was like super funny. He like screwed around. And that kind of brought the division up from probably like a C to a B. It was half and half. It was like either really stubborn people or really funny people. And plus they let me get away with that stupid thing where I put everyone in the HQ building for so long. And that just absolutely carried them. That is carrying them from a C to a B. Hell, I might even go as far to say it's carrying them from a D to a B. But I wish they were a little less stubborn about the rules because they have to understand at the end of the day, they're MP. This is not like a real life unit. They are corny. They go around grabbing people with their handcuffs, going on power trips, going, you need to wear uniform, young man. They're full of themselves, and that's kind of what's going to drag them down from an A to a B, but what's going to bring them up from a D to a B? It is what I'm trying to say. All right, honor guard. It was very strict in the sense that they were like, they're super LARPers. I mean, they are the absolute peak of LARPing. <laughs> Literally, they spam their keyboards to go from dress right dress, you got to use your drill rifle, God would have you, and they're sitting here like absolute menaces on the keyboards, like they've been working in data entry for the last 20 years. Like, they are the pro LARPers when it comes down to it, but they also have a good sense of community. Yeah, they're super strict in game, but in VCs, like, outside of the game itself, they were actually really funny, and I think that's why I'm gonna put them in an A. That, along with the guy, uh, the real Billster, he was just super funny and super lenient with everything I did, and that just, it absolutely carried on a guard for me. 100 Fresh Airborne. This one, I actually had a lot of fun in, because I had said for years, I'm never gonna join Airborne, I'm never gonna join Airborne, and at the time, there was 82nd, and now there was 100 First. But here's the thing. I joined Airborne, and they were just super funny. The hot dog dude, Zovac, I think, the keep hot dogs 150 guy, he was just absolutely hilarious, and I think partly why I'm gonna give 100 first an S. Plus, it's also the fact that I think it was just new to me. Like, I had never done anything so much like Airborne. I maybe joined Airborne once, like, four years ago, but generally speaking, I haven't done Airborne in a while, and just the fact that, you know, 
you jumped from the jump tower, that was fun, and then you had the plane drop, which was a bunch of fun too, where, you know, there was like 30 of us all getting in planes and jumping out, and then flying out of the plane. It really held a special spot in my heart, because that was a unit that really stuck out to me. I loved being an airborne, honestly. I'm gonna say pretty much the same thing for 1st Infantry Division. This was the first division I joined, but it definitely had a lasting impact on me, and it wasn't just the fact that they had, say, a lot of members, or really good tech, or, you know, a good activity, or, you know, what? that didn't really matter to me so much, but what really stuck with me, there was an amazing sense of harmony. It was also the fact that 1st Infantry didn't, like, take themselves too seriously in the sense that, you know, they understood they're, like, playing, you know, a Roblox Lego game, but they also had fun while doing it. They had a good balance between actually getting shit done, but also not being full of themselves, and I think that's why I'm gonna leave them in an S. And genuinely, they could take a joke. They could laugh it off if someone said something dumb or did something dumb, like when I blew them all up. Like, that shit was hilarious. They found it funny too, and that kind of carried them a lot. So 1st Infantry is probably one of my favorite units, you know? Speaking of infantry, today's sponsor is War Thunder. They would like me to say that War Thunder is a <laughs> But I sat down, I played the game, and I gotta say, War Thunder is genuinely a lot of fun. It's a free epic military battle game that can be played on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, or Mac, depending which way you swing. There's ships, there's tanks, there's even planes. They're designed really well and have a huge variety of iconic vehicles from the 20th century, which helps add to the dynamic because you really feel immersed through the stunning graphics, physics, or sounds. They've got guided missiles, active protection systems, smoke screens, and so much more. Plus, it's like no two rounds are the exact same because there's constantly so much change between each match. Also, in their new air superiority update, they've added a bunch of new planes, such as the Su-27, the Gripen, and the F-15 Eagle. They've got the T-90M, the Abrams Tusk II, and so many cool tanks. They have completely redone their explosion and fire effects. Speaking of which, they've got a fresh Volcano Valley map where you can test these brand new vehicles in a smoking hot environment. So if you want to have a shit ton of fun like this, download War Thunder for free with the link in the description. Plus, all new players and those who haven't played War Thunder in a while will receive some special bonuses such as rentals for the P-40E1 aircraft and M4 tank along with unique skins for them, three premium vehicles, a premium account, and so much more. Now the 1st Marine Division is probably the only unit I'm actually going to give an F. And the reason I say this is because these fuckers, these nasty people, I tried to join this unit. He said that he can join and discharge when his week is up, which is his every right. He has every right to do that. That's his prerogative, but it doesn't mean I'm still not mad about it. He wouldn't let me in the unit. I wouldn't let me in the unit, but still, I'm still mad about it. It pisses me off. They would not let me in the unit. I tried to join 1st Marine Division. That was what I was going to go to before 3rd Marine Division, but no, it pissed me off. Like, that is the only reason I'm ranking this an F. Other divisions screwed up some things, but 1st Marine Division single handedly threw it. Like, Aya only talked for these guys for like 10 minutes, and they just threw the whole thing. They fumbled the bag, they screwed it up, and they pissed me off. And honestly, that's why I'm giving them an F. So if I had to pick a favorite unit out of all these, I'd say it was definitely a close tie between these two, because I had a lot of fun in 101st Airborne with all the people, but I also had a lot of fun in 1st Infantry with, again, all the people. It's probably gonna be 1st Infantry, and again, the only reason I say that is because they had such an amazing harmony with one another. They really had a good sense of community, and they got along. You can have good tech, or a lot of people, or good activity, but that doesn't really matter when you're not having fun. Like, this is a unit that had a lasting impact because I had a lot of fun in it. They had a perfect balance between getting shit done and being funny. I think that's kind of what made 1st Infantry my favorite unit above anything else. Anyways, that's gonna be my tier list. I'm thankful to everyone who let me in their units besides 1st Marine Division because it is a lot to let someone like me in the division because I am very immature. I don't follow rules. I constantly screw around and honestly that can be a lot for some divisions. Anyways, with that, thank you all for watching. This has been Lydite and I will see you gentlemen in the next video. Goodbye.